Hello everyone, we're going to show you how to set up a survey form with Instant Presenter. In order to set up a survey form, directly after the registration step, just go ahead and click Next. This is going to take you to the survey form. The survey form should look quite a bit like the registration in many ways. Uh, first off, if you don't want a survey at all, you can click Skip this step right up here at the top. And if you have a past survey that you just want to copy, you can go ahead and select it from here. Uh, it doesn't look like I have any at the moment, but if I did, that would be populated with various uh, dates. This header text will appear above all of my questions, so I'm just going to ask them to please take my survey. These standard fields are preset for you. These will be just fields that they can answer with uh, whatever uh, ha is applicable. And these can be either required or shown, as seen in these two various uh, columns. Anything that is shown is optional. Anything that is required must be answered. And here in the rating field section, you can have one through five rating on presenter content and technology. Those are questions you can ask. So here's some custom fields. Now, first off, in the survey, you can actually use this as a test by clicking Enable Scoring of Custom Questions. This is going to bring up various options, and we're going to go over those options here in just a little bit. So I can ask whatever question I want. So let's go with what is one plus one. We're going to make this a required question so that people have to answer it. And my optional answers will be 1. Obviously wrong, so I won't click the collect correct answer bubble here at the end. 2. And let's go with 3,456. So obviously the correct answer is 2, so I'm going to click the correct answer bubble right here. And I can go ahead and add the question. Once the question is added, I can see it over here in the custom fields preview on the right hand side. The asterisk indicates that it is required. I can click edit to change it. I can click delete to get rid of it. And I can click it, move it up or down if I want to uh, change the order it's in as far as all the custom field questions go. And the footer text will appear underneath all the questions right here. So I'm just going to thank them. And if you want them to take them to a custom URL, any URL that you want, you can just go ahead and click this here. And directly after finishing the survey, they will go to whatever, uh, automatically go to whatever website that you put right here. Now let's go ahead and back here at the top. Since I enabled the scoring of custom questions, making this a test, I can choose to show if the survey passed or failed, and I need to collect, put a uh, percentage that is a pass right there. Let's go with 90%. And I can send them either some text or different URLs based on if they win or lose or pass or fail. So let's go ahead with congrats.com for your URL for the winners and fail.com for those who unfortunately failed. And I can show them the percentage if I want to that they answered correctly. I don't have to show them that. And show the correct answers to the scored questions if I want to, but again, I don't have to show them that. And if I don't want people to be able to take that same test over and over again, I can limit the number of survey takers to one per registration. So the same registrant can't get in more than once. Once done, I click Next. Here is my survey, and here is the one through five question right here. The various fields I chose, and right here is the test question. Once done, I can click Finish, and this will send out my registration to all of my attendees. Congratulations, you've set up a survey with Instant Presenter.